Hello, I'm Mark Llewellyn. I work for the Applied Technology Institute, where I teach a short one-day class on unmanned aircraft systems. I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea as to what to expect if you were to sign up and take my class. So we're going to talk a little bit today about unmanned aircraft systems and engineering spectrum and regulatory issues. One of the questions I asked my class is, how does a flight profile of an unmanned aircraft compare to a manned aircraft? Are they the same? Are they different? Are they similar? While you're thinking about that, let me show you a flight profile from a Global Hawk. Now in one sense, the flight profile would be identical to a manned aircraft. We have an area of climbing or ascent, mission altitude, followed by a landing, hopefully successful. Now there are a lot of differences though in how unmanned aircraft are used. For example, we notice here that on this particular mission the Global Hawk is being told to loiter at 65,000 feet for 24 hours. There is not a manned aircraft that could make that kind of a flight. There are also some other differences about how unmanned aircraft can access certain types of airspace. For example, if you take a commercial flight out of a big airport, you take off and climb and head towards your final destination. The Global Hawk, for example, even though this shows a nice linear climb, may be restricted to airspace above a military complex or base and actually have to corkscrew and climb all the way up to Class A airspace and then be able to transition to make its flight. Now that's not something that a manned aircraft would have to deal with. Now why do we have unmanned aircraft? Well, the main idea is to put some type of a camera or sensor on board the platform. Nearly all unmanned aircraft have some form of that technology on board. And a term that you'll hear a lot for unmanned aircraft is ISR, which stands for Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance. Now one type of sensor that are popular for some unmanned aircraft are some, is something called Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR. Now the SAR radar takes advantage of the motion of the aircraft and through signal processing is able to simulate a very large fixed antenna which gives extreme high resolution. Now it does not produce video, it only produces still images, but a much higher resolution than possible with a normal optical camera. Here's an example and a comparison of two types of images. The image on the left was produced with a camera or optical images and is a visual image. The SAR image of the same area shows more detail, so it adds to the intelligence and information gathered about that area for other things to take place. And that's the end.